Now you're going to be shocked at what this little tool is, but when I show you how to use it, it's going to blow you away. Hey everybody, David Burns, good to be with you. I'm inside a hive right now, and it's good to be with you on this Sunday. I'm going to show you something really important, and we've heard a lot about this more recently. Now, I want to let you know that a decade ago, I was doing a lot of research, a lot of reading, and a lot of experimentation with propolis and the impact that it has on our hives. We've had research done on the subject for decades and decades ago, way back, on the impact that propolis has on the hive, the health of the hive. If you're new to propolis, it's something that bees gather from uh, trees and plants, and they bring it back to the hive, and they actually use it. We sometimes say they use it for gluing things together, which they do. They also coat the inside of their hives with it. And it's antimicrobial, antibacterial, anti-everything. It's used as part of the bee's immune system, reduce the energy that the bees have to use to cut down on all the pathogens in the hive. So this is why I'm pumped and excited to tell you guys about this little tool. It's cheap to buy and you can utilize it in a way to keep your bees much more healthier. Now, let me tell you a few more things about propolis. Look at this. I have some show and tell items today. Now here's a piece of wood that we took out of a tree. And if you can see here, all of this is propolis that they've added. I've kind of, I scraped it down into a pile right here but this is really hard because it's cold right now. But you can see all in here how much this is actually coated with the propolis. Even in a piece of comb like this, even in our own hives, you can almost start to see, if you hold it just right, um, little pieces of propolis that are added to strengthen and maybe help sanitize these cells, especially the brood area. And of course, this is where we find the uh, most frustrating part of propolis is usually around the hive itself, where we're lifting frames out on the edges of our frames. In these areas here, we can always find a lot of propolis. But what has gained a lot of popularity just recently is the idea of the amount of propolis that bees add to their colony on the inside of a tree like this is called an, a propolis envelope. They surround all of the wood in here, they coat it with a layer of their propolis. Now this is something that we've known for years, it's not something new, it's something that has been discovered many, many, many decades ago and it has been written about uh, way back. So it's something that even I wrote an article in the American Bee Journal, as you can see here, about the importance of uh, propolis and keeping a hive very healthy. But this has recently gained traction, the idea that if we can coat the inside of our hives with propolis or do something to encourage the bees to coat or put more propolis on the inside of their hives like this, that it can keep the bees healthier. So stay with me because I wanna show you how you can use this little tool. Now, obviously we can see how they put propolis uh, here in the slot that holds the frames. And you can even see how they put propolis in the crack between where the boards meet together uh, inside the hive box. Now there's a blob here for who knows what, but notice here where it is a little bit more rough, you can see the bees have added some propolis more in the rough area. Now, big chunks of propolis over here, where they actually, a frame was resting close to there. They wanted to seal a, a gap off. And again, we see it down in a crack. Now, one thing I wanna show you in particular that can explain what I'm telling you today is you can notice where bees add propolis. Let me flip the box over this way for you. We'll keep looking at this. Now, notice here on this side that there, there's more propolis. I don't know if the camera shows it, but you can see where it's rougher, they start to add more propolis. Even like right here, if you can see where this knot is, you can actually see they've added a lot of propolis right here around this knot. So anywhere where it's more rough, you will notice that they will add the propolis. So right up along this area here, so right along here, you can see another spot where it's rough. And notice they put the propolis right there. Again, some frame material, uh, extra propolis there where a frame was uh, close by. Now, particularly along this area right here, where it is more rough, you can definitely see 
It's kind of a brownish, almost a shiny appearance of the propolis all the way through here, where the wood is actually a lot more rough. That's what bees do. They like to use their propolis to smooth out rough areas. If you notice here, it's, it's smooth wood because now we use wood three quarter inch pine. And so this wood is it's very smooth on both sides. And if it, a little bitty tiny drop of propolis right there, some of it is on here, but not very much. So in other words, even though your hive is probably made out of this same wood, there's not a lot of propolis that's been added to the box after it's been in the hive for a while, a little bit. But if we are to rough it up, much more will be added. Now there are companies that are starting to sell boxes that are roughed up on the inside. This is something that we used to do all the way back uh, about 10 years ago. We were actually selling a hive called a David Wishlist hive. We manufactured beekeeping equipment for a long time. And those hives actually were scored on the inside after, after I read a lot of studies that were being conducted that were showing there was a slight increase in the overall health of the bees, especially that they didn't have to exhaust themselves on their use, utilizing their own immune system because they could rely on some of the propolis on the wall of the hive. Now, some of the studies that were done by leading scientists, uh, maybe back around 19 or 2014, 2016, about all the way through 2021, maybe. A lot of these scientists were doing experiments, especially on this wall on the inside of a hive. They were conducting these experiments, PhD entomologists, many of them, to see what kind of effect it would have on the colony. And they would also sometimes staple on a, like a propolis uh, material, propolis trap. They would cut it, staple it on, as well as I did back in those days too. So I would staple a propolis trap on the walls of the hive, and then the bees would add more propolis in that trap, increasing the amount of propolis that is actually in the hive. I know I'm saying propolis, propolis. I'm gonna say it both ways because I started out saying it one way. <laughs> I can't really make the switch. I do sometimes. But um, I found that it really didn't make an overall big difference. But one of the things that I particularly did for a long time when I was studying the outcome was I would gather propolis and I would make a tincture out of it using some strong alcohol and let it start to dissolve. And once it did, I would score my boxes and especially the deep hive boxes in the hive body. And then I would actually dip my paintbrush into this dissolved propolis tincture and I would actually also score it, but then I would paint my propolis uh, in on these hive bodies. And I gotta tell you, I didn't really notice any particular strong difference. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, all the hives that I did this to are outstanding and the ones that I didn't do them to, they didn't do as well. But I'll leave some links down in my um, notes of the show here in the links below. I'll leave some links to some of the recent studies that you can read that scientists have made conclusions of whether or not they do help or don't help to do this. But I still am a firm believer, and science does support it a little bit, that it can help some in some areas. Now, I've been telling you I'm going to show you what this tool is. This is the tool that we use. It is something, I'm sorry, I don't know the exact use for it, but I believe that it is a wallpaper scoring device. In other words, if you want to get wallpaper off that's been on there a while, you kind of just rub this on there and it roughs up and helps you remove the wallpaper. Sorry if I got that wrong, but I, I bought it back then. And uh, that's, I remember somebody telling me, you need to buy a wallpaper remover. And as you can see, it's got these two little wheels in here. And I picked it up on Amazon. I don't know, maybe $11, not much. But this is what we use. And here's a picture of one of our employees, Zach, a young man, that he would actually do this a decade ago to our hives. We had a special hive called a David Wishlist hive. It was more money to buy it because we had to pay Zach to sit here and score the inside of these hives. And so we don't, we just didn't have the market we felt we needed back then. So we stopped selling it. But I want to show you how to utilize this. You take this as an effort to 
rough up the surface of your inside of your hives so that it forces the bees to put more propolis there. And the propolis is what is going to be kind of part of their immune system to cut down on the pathogens. Now, before I show you how to finally use this tool, I want to encourage you guys to please subscribe. Bobblehead David is over here holding up the sign, trying to get you guys to subscribe to my channel, and we really do appreciate it. So when you buy one of these, um, be careful, wear hearing protection. This one's not very loud. It, some of them have a real screeching uh, noise to it, and that's why the hearing protector, but this one is not loud at all. So what we're doing, we're just rubbing it, and these little teeth here are grinding into the wood, and that's really rough. And the bees will not like that, and they will add propolis, to smooth it out. You can see the amount of wood that it's actually uh, taking off with these little teeth. Also be aware that these aren't really durable and so we did break a lot of these but we were making a lot of hives too. So just realize that if you have a lot of hives uh, you might want to think of another way. This is a quick way for a hobbyist to do it. Now I realize that this is available uh, as a product that's already done. There's a company that I saw at the Honey Bee Expo that actually uh, has already scored the inside of their hive boxes that they sell. And so if you don't want to fool with it, you can look up companies maybe on the internet that are doing that. But this is just a video for do it yourself. Sometimes beekeepers want to do things on their own. This is in case you have a hive or two, a hobbyist, and you just want to experiment and see if this can help your overall health of your hive, as studies slightly indicate then you could probably purchase something like this, like we used to do, and actually score the inside of your hive and see if bees will add more propolis there and increase their uh, propolis that's being used as part of their immune system to cut down on pathogens. Now, there's no way I'm gonna bank on this little tool and scratching the inside of my hive, saving my hive. I'm gonna have to bank on skills that I've learned over the years and how to keep a hive alive. Keeping your mite levels down, keeping a strong queen in there, making sure the bees are well fed during the seasons that they need food. Those are the two most critical things that you need to be doing. But there's other things like more propolis on the inside that gives us a tiny little bit of edge and you know what, anything can help, right? But when it comes right down to it, how strong a colony is really boils down to you and your inspections. I just made a brand new video for you guys showing you how to look at frames. I showed you what to look for on these frames. If you've missed that video, this video right here will help you. I'll see you over there.